What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're back with the STI. We're gonna finish up these flares today. Um, finally got these wheel spacers in from MAP. So these are one inch spacers. Pretty much the biggest ones you can get. Um, and the goal is to just space these out so the fitment's right with the flares and then the rest we can just adjust with the camber and get this thing looking right. So um, you gotta eject the car up, uh, take the wheel off, get the spacer on. We'll set it back down with the wheels and see where we're at. I'm gonna get a light down here so it'll be a little bit brighter, but um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get this thing going. So that's pretty good. Um, right now, with the camber in the wheel, it honestly looks like it's gonna be perfect once we lower the car down a little bit. So now we just gotta take the wheel back off. We'll lower the coilovers a few turns until we get this where we want it. And then we'll have to turn the wheel and we'll have to figure out where we got it cut on the bumper, uh, figure out some extra trimming, clean it up, get the sealant on that we didn't do in the last video. And then this side will be done. So that's really all we have to do for all four. Um, and essentially the flares will be finished up minus the 3M tape on the back, but we're not going to do that until I get the wrap on the car because there's no sense of permanently putting these on just to take it back off. <laughs> now I've adjusted these coilovers quite a bit on this channel, so I'm not going to do a full in-depth, uh, explanation on how to do this. I'm just going to go and do it real quick. But if you want to watch a full video on these Cygnus X1s, uh, those are the coilovers that are currently on the car. I'll have it linked up in the corner one of these corners uh, and you can go ahead and watch that. Um, these coilovers are sick and if you use code BRANDON100 at checkout at cygnusperformance.com you'll save a hundred bucks on your order. So let's go ahead get this thing lowered and uh, we'll see how we look. So we got this one pretty dialed in where I want it. I might go a tad bit lower, um, but as far as fitment and everything goes, I think that's right on the money where I want it. So what I've decided is I wanted to get a video up this week, but um, being that I work every day and by the time I get home, it's dark out, which is why I'm in the garage. Um, it's really hard to work in here because there's not a lot of space. So I'm just gonna wait till Saturday. I'd rather make a decent video for you guys than something that I just try to cram together. So um, Saturday during the day, we'll back the car out. We'll do all this outside where I got room and daylight. And, uh, it'll just be a lot easier, faster, and a better video. Um, so with that being said, I'll catch you guys Saturday morning. Peace. So Saturday, we got the car outside. Um, front is looking pretty dang good out here. So I'm happy with that. Now the rears, uh, once we get the spacers in, if it doesn't space it far enough out where I am comfortable with the fitment, um, we may have to order up some adjustable lower control arms and that way we can pull some camber out of it. Cause right now it's pretty cambered out and 
I don't know. I don't know if it's going to poke enough. So uh, worst case scenario, we'll order up some lower control arms. We'll be good to go. With the back, with that being said, uh, we don't have to do any sort of camber adjustments in the back because we really can't. So let's just get this thing jacked up. Get the wheel off, spacer on, wheel back on, and we'll see where we're at. So as suspected, probably gonna need some adjustable lower control arms to get this 100% perfect. Um, it's actually not that bad right now, um, but I do want the tire up a little bit more. And I also don't want it as cambered out as it is right now. So I'll have to get some Cusco's or something on order. But it's not bad. I think a little bit of camber adjustment, this thing will be perfect. So driver's side is good as far as fitment wise, as we can get to today. Um, so we'll do the same thing on the passenger side and then uh, we can get to trimming the final stuff, sealing it up, and this thing will be drivable, which is exciting because I haven't really driven it in a long time. I also have to fix that CV axle. I bought a bunch of clamps for this thing, so we should be good hopefully. <laughs> So same thing with this rear, we get some adjustable LCAs and this will be dialed in. I just put on my Instagram story, seeing if anyone had a set. If not, tonight I'll go order a set of those off of the internet. Obviously you're probably wondering, are we gonna lower the rear? Yeah, we're gonna lower the rear, but I wanna wait until I get the control arms. We'll do it all at once, cause you know, you gotta essentially take the control arm off to lower it. I normally take everything off except for the one bolt and then I can spin the coil over. I don't know if there's an easier way to do it, but it's pretty easy, so. All we got left is the front up here, and I'm gonna go warm my hands up because they're freezing, and then we'll come out and do that one. All right, we got the car picked up on this side. Uh, I'm gonna take this wheel off, pull the hub off, get this axle out, and then we'll take it in here. We'll pull those old clamps off, and then we can get that axle fixed once and for all so I can uh, actually drive the car once we're done, so. So what I found helped me last time is turn the wheel all the way to the left and we're gonna pry the axle out of the hub out this way. So it's a little bit tricky, but it's like barely doable. So let's get it done. All right, got the axle out. So now you just gotta stick a pry bar on the transmission side and just a little tap and we can pull this thing out. I think this side's good. Um, yeah, there is no air seeping out. This one, the bottom tab didn't go all the way through, but the first two did, so I think we'll be all right. Um, and then the top one is good all the way around. So We'll do the same thing on this side, stop any more leaks, and we can get this thing thrown back in the car. Alright, I don't know what it is with these clamps, but I went through like a ton of those little ones trying to get that one on there tight enough, so 
uh, if there's an easier way, please let me know in the comments. Uh, but let's uh, get this thing slapped back in the car. We got no more leaks, so we're good to go. Okay, so axle's back in. Um, now I'm just gonna adjust the coilovers so we can be uh, equal with the other side. We'll lower it down and uh, get it all back together. Get the spacer on and the side should be done. Okay, so this side <laughs> is pretty freaking slammed. Um, I might go up another two, because I think I might have went down a little bit too far compared to the other side. But here's this side, I don't, I don't mind the look, but I think I might go up a little bit more just so we're not rubbing on the fender. I don't want to rub on that cut fender. And then this side, this side looks really clean in my opinion. Kind of flows really, really nice. But obviously we're gonna have to cut the bumpers, but we'll do that in a bit. All right, we got this thing pretty dialed in all the way around. Uh, like I said, put the control arms in the back, it'll be good. Um, same here, and then front with measurements, it's pretty much identical to the other side. So I'm happy with that. What I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna bring it into the garage a little bit and just cut the bumpers up a little bit more and then we can get the sealant on, we should be done. So um, yeah, I'm probably not gonna put it on camera because the last video was just filled with all cutting so uh, if you want to know where I'm cutting or how I how I'm doing it uh, just go and watch the last video that I put up but yeah essentially all I'm gonna do is from here probably the top so there's a, a hole here um, so probably right up above that and I'll cut kind of like straight down try to make it look as good as I can and then we'll smooth it out with the little polishing flap disc thing so I already kind of have it marked up on this side like I said, you can see where the little clip is that goes in here. I want to try to keep that in its spot. That way we have two mounting points for the bottom of the inner fender. This whole top part will cut off, um, but mainly because I don't want to have to customize carbon lips and stuff when I start doing that. So uh, yeah, I want to try to leave the bottom of the, the bumper as close to stock as possible. So I'm going to cut kind of straight up, try to make it look smooth with the body line. And uh, we'll go from there. Car is finished as far as we can get this weekend. Um, waiting on the lower control arms. Have a set coming in. Uh, bumpers cut. Like I said, kind of just wanted to go kind of straight down. I think we'll kind of file that up so it's straighter. Um, but with the wrap, I think it's going to look, look really good. I didn't want to cut it all the way down because, like I said, if we start doing lips and stuff, I don't want to have to like cut carbon lips and have that issue. So we left it like that. For the rear, everything is seam sealed. So if you look in there, not really sure what you guys can see in there, but everything is seam sealed in black. And then all this silver in here is just going to be wrapped black on the back side of the flare. And then the rest of the car will be wrapped in the main color. So I think. That's game changer. That looks so good. Fitment in the front's really good. We are gonna lower the rears once we get the LCAs. I think I mentioned that, but um, yeah, it's a little bit higher in the rear than the front right now. That's all good. This cut's pretty good as well. I was pretty happy with that. I want to try to create a canard that comes up from the bottom of the bumper here and rides right up to the bottom of the flare. I think that would create such a clean look, and that would eliminate this from looking so chopped off there. I've also seen some people like round it off. I might do that as well if we can't get a canard made, but I think overall this thing looks so sick. All done up. Really like the look of it. Looks pretty thick. <laughs> but I'm going to wrap up this video right here. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And I know I've said it for a while, but maybe next weekend I might actually be able to start wrapping the car. I went and picked up some gloss black wrap for the roof last night from Alco and uh, yeah 
super stoked to get this thing going. I think it's gonna be, it's, it's gonna be so sick. I can't wait, but I'm gonna go run and take some photos of the car and I think I'm going rock climbing tonight. So I'll catch you guys later. Peace.